The question is, in theory, you could have a Docker file with just some base image, like a generic base image like Debian or Ubuntu, and yeah. make sure just UV is installed in it, yep. and that's it. And obviously, and your source code. But you don't have to really worry about running UV install or UV sync to build the image. Is that true? I'd have to verify in terms of how efficiently UV downloads Python within a Docker image, depending on the network uh, right. environment that it's in. But you're spot on. I mean, the time spent in downloading Python, installing I don't know, UV sync and getting the environment up to pace is nothing. So in CI, you're pretty much spending like less than a second doing all of this stuff. And immediately your CI starts focusing on the actual task at hand. So it creates much slimmer binaries. And I'm pretty sure people are doing some really smart stuff with this in CI. It seems like you should, in theory, be able to do it, right? So the answer is yes, you should be able to do it like Prashant also validated. However, just because you can do it doesn't mean it would be a great idea to do it. The yeah. reason being, if you're thinking about scale, you want to make sure that there are no vulnerabilities in your code. You want to make sure that Python version, which was there, has no reported vulnerabilities. If you're installing things like Python on the fly, first of all, you need an internet connection on your environment, exactly. which is not That's always possible. Uh, which I think Prashant already alluded to. But more importantly, if there's a reported vulnerability in like an old version of Python or in uh, 3.12, which you're using and the latest one has fixed it, there is no way for you to know that, okay, you know what? Somebody just reported a vulnerability. 